BTEC, Applied Science, Unit 1 Chemistry, Reactions with Oxygen. Basically looking at the reactions of uh, elements in periods 2 and 3 with oxygen. So, here are periods 2 and 3. Uh, these are the ones that we need to worry about. Well, saying that, we don't worry about oxygen. I don't think oxygen reacts with oxygen. Uh, and we're not bothered about uh, group zero. They don't react with oxygen. So there's not that many we need to know. So reactions of period two and period three with oxygen. Let's look at the metals first, groups one, two, and three. Let's look at group one. So lithium plus oxygen goes to lithium oxide. Uh, can you figure out the formula for lithium oxide? Uh, can you write a balanced equation for the reaction? Well, hopefully that's what we're going to learn how to do. Okay, write a word equation first. We've done that. Uh, work out the formula for the oxide. And you can do that by figuring out the oxidation states. And then balance the equation. Now, the oxidation states... Lithium is group 1, so its ion will be Li+. Plus. Uh, oxygen is group 6, so it will be O2-. Minus. So we're going to need two lithiums for every oxygen. Here's the balanced equation. Look, lithium oxide, Li2O. Two lithiums for every oxygen. And so Li plus O2 because it's reacting with O2, the gas, goes to Li2O and then balance it. You should be able to do that. Lithium is in group one, so lithium ions are Li+. Plus, so you need two lithium ions for every oxygen atom. And oxygen is group six, so its oxide ions are O2-. Minus. Group two, can you do this? Have a go. Pause the video, see if you can do this, the same thing again. Can you write a balanced equation for this reaction? Can you figure out the formula for magnesium oxide? Now, magnesium is in group 2, so it's Mg2+. Plus. Oxygen, group 6, so O2-. Minus. So the formula is going to be MgO. So Mg plus O2 goes to MgO, and then if you balance it, 2Mg plus O2 goes to 2MgO. Okay, Mg is group 2, so its ions are Mg2 plus. O is group 6, so its ions are O2 minus. So magnesium oxide is MgO. This is a trickier one now because aluminium is group 3. So how are you going to balance this? What would the formula for aluminium oxide be? Again, you have a think about it. Pause the video. I'm going to show you the answer now. And it is Al2O3. Can you figure out why it's Al2O3? Aluminium's group 3, Al3+. Plus. Okay, so you're going to need two aluminium ions for every three oxygen ions, and then balance the equation. Let's look at non-metals now. Let's look at group seven. So fluorine plus oxygen goes to oxygen difluoride. Okay, 2F2 plus O2 goes to 2F2O. So why F2O? Well, uh, fluorine has got seven electrons in its outer shell. Oxygen has got six. So two fluorines and an oxygen get together in a covalent bond. There's a dot and cross diagram. You should be able to draw this diagram. Two fluorines, one oxygen, sharing electrons. There's a, a molecule of oxygen difluoride. Properties of the oxides. So, uh, first of all, the non-metal oxides. So, non-metal oxides 
are gases. They are simple molecules. Carbon dioxide, nitrogen dioxide, sulfur dioxide, they are simple molecules, they are gases. So non-metal oxides are gases. Uh, these ones, metal oxides, are solids. Most of them are a giant ionic lattice. Okay, we talked about this when we did ionic compounds. A giant ionic lattice. Some of them, however, are a little bit weird. They are a giant covalent lattice. So a giant lattice, but held together by covalent bonds. For example, silicon dioxide is quartz, okay? Uh, or think about glass, okay? Silicon dioxide, those two are a giant covalent lattice. Most of them are giant ionic lattices. Um, those ones there are soluble. Okay, there's a few of them are insoluble, but those ones there are soluble. And when they dissolve in water, do you get an acidic or an alkaline solution? Now, I've given you a bit of a clue in the color there. Okay, are you going to get an alkali or are you going to get an acid? Well, the metal oxides that are soluble when they dissolve in water, you get an alkali. You get a hydroxide, okay? For example, sodium oxide plus water gives you sodium hydroxide. You get an alkali, that's why I did them purple. Uh, and then the non-metal oxides, uh, if they dissolve in water, you get an acid. Non-metal oxides tend to form acids. Carbon dioxide, when it dissolves in water, you get carbonic acid. Sulfur dioxide gives you sulfuric acid. So, can you answer all of these then? Copy these uh, and summarize their properties in a table. Okay, which ones are simple molecules, gases? Which ones are solid? Which ones are giant ionic lattice? Which are giant covalent? Which give you an acidic solution? Which give you an alkaline solution?